Megan, my final question for you is what three tips you have for job seekers besides what we talk about in terms of values, networking, resumes, and LinkedIn Pro, what other tips you can give to job seekers to elevate their job search? Yeah, I mean, we, we did talk about it being a job. So I would say, you know, tip number one is to treat it like a job. If you're full-time job seeking, get up in the morning, get a shower, maybe put on some nice clothes, even if you're not going to get on a call with anybody, but really approach your day. Like this is what I'm doing today and stay, it'll help you stay motivated. I know from personal experience at the start of the pandemic, I was rolling into work in my jammies because I'm like, this is great. You know, I don't have to get dressed. But after about a month of that, I was like, oh, I feel like, I feel like I'm in bed all day. Like, I just don't feel so, you know, now, yes, I get up, I work out, I take a shower, I, you know, do my hair, all the stuff just to feel, you know, ready to go start my day. So I'd say if you're full-time job seeking, approach it as a job. If you're part-time job seeking, if you have a job and you're looking, I would still say, you know, dedicate some time in your day or in your week that's really focused around doing the research, you know, finding the companies that align with your values making sure that you're really engaged with what they're doing on social media, that you're familiar with their website and what they offer and just really get a good feel of the company. So we, you know, we talked about the idea of figuring yourself out. Um, but I would just say, you know, stay true to yourself mm -hmm. as much as you can. Um, you might have to take a job to fill the gap, to pay the bills. I understand that, but if you can try to hold out for the right thing, yeah. I would recommend that because I do think that does pay off in the end. Sure. Um, I, I know we're not in a market necessarily where, you know, people can be super picky about what they're looking for, but I'd say, I don't know. I think 2021 is definitely more hopeful than last year was. Um, it's looking brighter. A lot more people are getting back to work and, and jobs are opening up. Um, so I would say, you know, definitely, try to hold out for what's right for you. And then lastly, I'd say, you know, if you see something that's posted that doesn't 100% align with what you think your skills are, and I'm not saying to like sacrifice your values, but you might not think you have enough experience or enough skills, um, don't second guess yourself. You just never know. I'd say yeah. be creative. Um, you know, you can talk to the recruiter, you can talk to the hiring manager. And even, even if it's not like a one for one match, I bet there's something in your background where you probably have done something that's relevant or that um, really applies. The transferable to the skills, the transferable That's exactly skills. right. Yeah. That's exactly right. So I'd say, give yourself a chance, you know, don't just pass over things. You're like, oh, I can never do that. If it really speaks to you, you think you'd be really good at it. You're excited about it. It sparks something inside of you. I'd say go for it. Yeah, that's all. those are great tips, Megan. Thank you very much. And with that, my interview with you comes to an end. Again, thank you for taking the time to ask to ask you the questions. And I, I hope the audience will enjoy the answers and maybe they start implementing in their job search. And for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips for job seekers, please leave comments below. You can reach out to our uh, profiles. If you have any other uh, questions, we are here to help you. And tune in next time for other great guests I'm preparing for you guys. Again, Megan, thank you very much. And we'll be in touch. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.